stories that matter most for Fort Lauderdale. This is FTL City News. Welcome to your local only Fort Lauderdale newscast. I'm Mark Fine. We start this week with a commission meeting and an item on the agenda marking the future for a very unique property. This is the house we're talking about. Designated for historic preservation, the owner was actually against the idea. Once a property receives that designation, the owner's limited in what they can do to the home, like tear it down and build a new one. The commission heard from experts and residents on both sides of this issue. Ultimately, the commission decided to defer the decision to a future meeting. The community came out, they expressed their concern about it being destroyed or moved, and a lot of people feel that, you know, it's, it's, it should be historically designated. The, the commission uh, agreed to postpone it and allowed me to see if we can work out a, a deal. Again, the mayor and commissioners will address this issue at a future meeting. We're going to bring you that new information as soon as it happens. Now, the city once again proving less is more. By watering your lawn two days a week instead of three, we will help grow an even better environment. We sent Ross Palumbo to dig up the new green landscaping details. Even here in Fort Lauderdale, the Venice of America, with water, water everywhere, we can still save billions upon billions of drops to drink, and it all begins with just three easy steps. The first thing you need to know is exactly what day to water on. Now it is very simple. Take this home for example. The address is 5151, an odd number. So odd number addresses you can water on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and for even number homes, you water on Thursdays and Sundays. The second thing to know is what time to water at. All homes can water between 3 a.m. and 9 a.m., and again at 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. The third thing to know is exactly what to water with. Now for fixed spray heads like this one, you can water up to 20 minutes per each zone. And for rotating heads like this one, you can actually water up to 40 minutes per zone. That's it, three easy steps, and this is going to save us one billion gallons of water a year, making every lawn across the city much greener. Fort Lauderdale Public Works, it's working for you. If you want more information on the ordinance, just go to our website, fortlauderdale.gov, and look in the news section. Okay, now to Las Olas Oceanside Park. The Loop is celebrating its two-year anniversary. The park, of course, home to so many major Fort Lauderdale events. The Great American Beach Party, the 4th of July, Light Up the Beach, so much more. Just about every weekend, there is an exciting event taking place at this unique destination. We have an acronym called FAME. Food, fitness, art, music, environmental causes are all things that are so important to our residents and we wanted to base our programming on that. It is popular. People go there, I, I drive by all the time, I go to events, I go to the market there, uh, great farmer's market, take yoga in the morning. It, it is it has really become a community public space, and not just for those around the beach. Uh, I'm really thrilled that it has become what we all knew it would be. Farmers markets, artisan art events, Friday night sound waves, more than 100 events a year, not including the fitness events. There's more than 1,000 of those. Happy anniversary to The Loop. And now to an unbelievable event here in our city. It was the 50th anniversary for Fort Lauderdale's fantastic Winterfest. What a night it was. The parade where floats actually float. The boats were, of course, beautiful. Private boats, giant show boats, corporate mega yachts, all adorned with hundreds of thousands of lights. There was also music, entertainment, decorations, celebrities, and that was just on the boats. Mario Lopez was the Grand Marshal, and there was a party on the shores as well. People lined the 12 mile route and were not disappointed. And we're so happy to be able to present it to the world and people from all over the world do come here and watch this boat parade. It's, it's unique, it's probably the best in the whole country and I think that Fort Lauderdale should be proud for what we have here. Fort Lauderdale for really what we have to offer. I mean, if you think about being in Chicago or Boston or New York right now, ooh, isn't it way better to be in the city of Fort Lauderdale in December and then watching all these magnificent boats and yachts? Now we finish out with one of our favorite features. It's time for Fort Lauderdale's Pet of the Month. 
everybody, it's Sherry here at the Humane Society of Broward County, and I'm here with my good friend, Roxy. Roxy is about two or three years old, the sweetest thing in the world, and she weighs about 50 pounds. Roxy's actually been here at the Humane Society since the end of September, and I'm not sure why she's getting passed over. She really is the perfect size. Now, Roxy loves to go for walks. She loves to play with toys, and as you can see, well, she likes to play with the hose. So if you have a swimming pool in the backyard, can't find Roxy, she might be out there doing some laps. Now, one thing you, th you should know is that Roxy needs to be the only fur child in the home. She really doesn't like other dogs, so it's gonna take a special family that's gonna adopt her, that's willing to give her all the love and care that she needs so she can get lots of attention. Thanks to our friends at Dolly's Dream, Roxy's adoption fee has been sponsored. So if you're interested in adopting Roxy or any of the other pets, I hope you'll visit our website. It's humanebroward.com. If you have questions, you can call us. The number is 954-989-3977. Well, that does it for this edition of the FTL City News. Of course, for more information, you can always check us out on social media. And for everything you need to know about the city of Fort Lauderdale, go to our website, fortlauderdale.gov. We'll see you next week.